what is happening YouTube? Welcome to this week's video. So I thought I'd give from my experiences what I feel would be the top five tips that will help for your fitness journey. If you're a beginner, and even if you're not a beginner, if you feel like you just need sort of kick up the backside, then this should also help. Again, these are from my experiences. These are things that I feel like I did wrong, and when I started doing them, it helped me quite a bit. Number one, start tracking everything that you eat. So I use an app called My Fitness Pal. Until I started using it consistently, I didn't realize how much rubbish I was putting into my body. I didn't realize how little protein I was actually getting. I'd always be there and I'd be questioning, oh, you know, I, I'm eating quite a lot. Why am I not getting big? Why am I not getting big? Because I always thought dirty bulking was the way forward. I always thought you just eat, 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 and that's how you gain size. It was only until I started tracking was when I realized I really wasn't eating that much. It's the same for when someone's dieting and they might not be eating enough, which is why they're not losing the weight that they want to lose. That's tip number one, make sure you track it. You never know what you're actually putting in your body until you see it in black and white. At the end of the day, it's not a bad thing to be aware of what you are putting in your body. Number two, compete with yourself and only yourself. This is something that I have realized over time and now, I only focus on my progress, I only focus on what I'm doing, I feel so much happier, I feel so much more comfortable, and I feel like I'm making a lot more progress. So you need to make sure you're only competing with yourself, because if you're competing with others, okay, if you're comparing yourself to others, you're gonna get bitter. But if you compare yourself to yourself, you will get better. There's no better competition than the way you was yesterday. Just aim to be a better version of yourself tomorrow. And that's the idea, you know what I mean? Be the best version of yourself. Number three, find the training style you enjoy. Because at the end of the day, the fitness journey, it, sh it shouldn't be something you feel you know, drained about all the time. If you're going to the gym every single day and you hate it, right? You are going and you're just saying to yourself, you know, during work, you're like, oh, I really don't want to go to the gym. I really don't want to go to the gym. You're already setting yourself up for failure. You're, you're doing something that you don't feel like you're enjoying. So experiment with different training styles, see what works best for you, see what you enjoy, and see what gets you the results. The aim is to be in the best shape of our lives and enjoy every step of the process. But you're just gonna wish your life away, you're gonna wish your journey away, and it's something I've done as well. I wish my journey away. I feel like you should be enjoying the process. Even everyone wants the end product, 100%. I want the end product just as much as you probably want the end product. But you have still got to enjoy the process along the way. That being said, don't just try something once and then shrug it off. You need to make sure that you actually do it for long enough to really get a good judgment on it. To, to see that A, because you're not used to it and it's killing you that you don't like it, you might get used to it and then start to enjoy it a little bit more and B, you need to make sure that you actually give something a chance to see if it actually works. Number four is always acknowledge how far you've come rather than how far you have to go. You need to make sure that you look back at your progress, you look back and I'll, I'll even put my progress on the screen as well. I gave myself three months to, to diet down. It is the best shape I've ever been in my life, you know what I mean? 100%. And I was so proud of myself for doing it. When I was younger especially, I used to compare myself to people all the time. It used to really frustrate me. Now I look back on it and I don't feel as inadequate as I used to. And, and sometimes it does still creep on me. But I, I always have to remind myself that I am my, you know, competition. And, I, you know, I always look at my starting point. And I know I've, I've come far. I know, like, I've made a difference in the way I look and the way I feel. That being said, stay consistent, worry about what you're doing, worry about your own progress. If you are consistent, if you go long enough, then you will make results. That was a three month transformation. Uh, I think it was March until June of this year. Definitely the best shape of my life. And the only reason that I sort of lost that much body fat was because I was consistent. Like I wasn't doing anything like out of the ordinary. I wasn't taking things like fat burners. I wasn't doing hours and hours of cardio a day just to feel like it's working. 
all I was doing was I worked out my maintenance, I subtracted 500 calories from my maintenance, I put myself in a deficit and if I felt like I was starting to plateau, I would start adding you know, a little bit more cardio, I would start you know, reducing the carbs by just a small amount. If, if you go too much of a big jump, you're already starting yourself out with a really aggressive diet and you know, if you do that, it's not sustainable, it's not, it's not gonna last and you know, again, you, you wanna be able to prolong this for as long as you can to make it sort of fit into your lifestyle. That's why I fit the If It Fits Your Macros flexible diet in because no foods are off limit. It's just the amount that is off limit. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't have any Haribos, it just means you can't stuff them into your face all day. It doesn't mean you can't have some Doritos or some chocolate. You've just got to limit the amount you have. And, you know, that's the important thing. No foods are off limit. Just, just be smart. Make smart decisions. So number five is holding yourself accountable. So this in particular is probably the most important bit of advice I could give to someone who's a beginner. Start off right. Start taking accountability for yourself and, and your actions. Because if you don't, you're gonna be wondering why you're not getting the results that you want to achieve. As many times I haven't held myself accountable, I've looked for excuses as to why I haven't done something. But in the back of my mind, it, you know, if, if I was being totally honest with myself, I knew that I hadn't done everything in my power to make sure I got the results that I wanted. You can't complain about not getting results that you didn't really work for. If, if you really take accountability for yourself, it's not just about you know, making sure that you're perfect every single time, because that's not gonna happen. Taking accountability for yourself means if you do have a bad day, if you do have a bad couple of weeks, you need to acknowledge those as a bad day, but don't dwell on them, acknowledge them, learn from them, and just get back to your routine like as soon as you can. If you then dwell on it, then you then you're gonna start frustrating yourself. Then you're gonna, you know, fall off fall off the wagon a little bit. And that's why you need to acknowledge it and learn from it. Just remember it is okay to mess up, but you just need to make sure you get back to it as soon as you can. And if you do, then you're gonna be a lot more consistent and you're gonna see results a lot better and you're gonna be happier. So those are my five tips on if you are just getting into fitness, if you're looking for things to sort of kickstart your positive mental attitude. There's so much more that I feel like I could have said, um, but I, I wanted to make it concise. I wanted to make it just, you know, five easy tips to follow. Um, but there are many, many more that I could have said. Those are just five that I thought were pretty important, especially for myself uh, and from things that I sort of change along the way to make my you know, journey more enjoyable, to make sure my mental state was in the right place to get the results that I wanted. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box down below. If you enjoyed this style of video and want to see more, again, drop that down below as well, um, and I'll see what I can do. That being said, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.